hello, my name is Gladron Kozak. Uh, on today's video, uh, as you can see, is starting to get warmer out here in the UK and the summer is finally here with us. And uh, the best thing that you can do during this hot summer months, instead of running off to the shop to get a shop uh, or factory made ice cream, you can actually challenge yourself and do a homemade ice cream. So today I will just show you how to make a homemade ice cream and I will show you two ways of making the ice cream. I will show you a uh, Oreo uh, version ice cream and I will also show you how to do a vanilla ice cream. Uh, the ingredients are very basic, something you can just get uh, in the store and uh, stock up in your fridge and uh, you don't need to have an ice cream maker. I do have an ice cream maker, but I will show you how to make it without, uh, without an ice cream maker. The only thing that you need, you need um, an electric uh, whisker or a mixer so that you do not have to whisk it because it takes quite a long time to whip up the cream. And um, with an electric mixer, it's uh, much easier. Other than that, you just need your uh, cream and the, the ingredients that I will show you and you are good to go. So yeah, let's dive in and uh, get started. These are all the ingredients that you need for your Oreo um, ice cream. Nothing um, complicated all ingredients straightforward and easily available uh, the first thing that you do is um, pour in your double cream into the mixer and then you beat um, the cream on the high speed because you want your cream to solidify as quickly as possible and then after that you will add in your condensed milk and when the cream is nice and fluffy then you add your crushed Oreos and you just fold them into the mixture very um, gently because you do not want your mixture to be um, broken and uh, you are good to go you pour it into the a tray and uh, put it in the freezer for at least six hours or at best it is good to do it uh, in the evening and then put it in the freezer overnight and it will be best served the next day but if you are planning to serve it uh, later in the day it is best you do it quite early in the day
uh, with the next ice cream is a vanilla ice cream which is very straightforward as well you just need double cream uh, and the ingredients are all written on the screen for you and uh, with this one you just need to mix the double cream and the sour cream together and you beat them on high speed as well and then you add in the sugar and when the cream has solidified you pour in your whipping cream and the last ingredient to go is the vanilla extract and you are good to go and uh, it needs just about five minutes to complete the whole process so it's a very simple and easy ice cream to make at home all the ice cream make sure you leave enough time to allow the uh, ice cream to um, freeze properly um, so around a minimum of around six hours before you serve uh, that is uh, a good recommendation time Uh, it's now late in the evening, we've already had our dinner and uh, we will be trying out our ice cream. Uh, the first one is the Oreo ice cream. As you can see, it has already solidified nicely and uh, it is good to be served. And my son can't wait to have a scoop for it. It is a very sweet um, ice cream. Uh, as you notice, we did not add any sugar. The corn condensed milk is very sweet. So uh, this is a, um, ice cream for people who are really sweet tooth. I prefer the vanilla version of it because uh, it is not too sweet. It is just uh, to my taste. Uh, if you would like, when you are doing the vanilla uh, ice cream you can put a little bit more sugar but mine I just like uh, one cup you can put maybe one and a half if you like to have uh, your ice cream uh, more sweeter 
as you can see the vanilla is also uh, nice and ready um, it was just done immediately after that Oreo ice cream so they are pretty much nice and ready frozen and ready to be served and I am sure if you try these recipes at home you will find they are very easy to follow and uh, the results are stunning So thank you very much guys for watching and um, if you like today's video uh, do remember to give me a thumbs up, a like, leave a comment and uh, even consider to subscribe uh, so that uh, you do not miss when I upload uh, such uh, videos. Uh, in the coming uh, series I will be doing some uh, extra DIY, I will be doing a little bit more of some uh, recipes so just stay tuned and i hope to see you in the next one so thank you for now <laughs>